Hey, it's Megan Lorson. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today, I am answering a question that I have gotten multiple times and the question is, do you have to have a license to do wedding hair and wedding makeup or just hairstyling in general and doing makeup in general? So I'm answering this question today as a professional bridal hairstylist who has a cosmetology license. I'm gonna answer this for you. So if you guys do find this helpful, make sure you give this video a like and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any other future content that comes your way. I do lots of educational videos on how to become a bridal hairstylist, how to grow your bridal hair business, and tons and tons of education on how to create beautiful bridal hairstyles. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future educational content coming out. All right, so today I'm answering the question, can you do wedding hair without a cosmetology license? So in short, the answer is yes. And I did do some research before making this video just to make sure that nothing has changed. And at the recording of this video, as of right now, you can do wedding hair in any state, any of the 50 states across the United States without having a cosmetology business. So there's a lot of controversy on this topic and I'm gonna kind of break down some of it. I'm gonna explain what you can and can't do um, if, you have, if you don't have a cosmetology license. But I know tons of, well, I'll say tons, a handful, uh, personally I know a handful of bridal hair and or makeup artists that have very successful bridal businesses and do not have a cosmetology license, which if I'm being honest, I think that's pretty cool that people have created successful businesses and didn't even go to, get, to go to school to get a cosmetology license. But I do think it's very beneficial if you do have a cosmetology license because you also learn so many other skills that go alongside of the industry. I do believe in having some form of education before you just jump into this field. Now I will say the handful of bridal hair and makeup artists that I personally know that run successful businesses, they did not just jump into it and say, oh, I can do this business without a license. I'm just going to do it. Um, yes, they kind of did that and they started practicing on friends, family, you know, it started very small and of course they practiced a lot before deciding to full on start a business, but majority of them have invested in some sort of online education, whether that was purchasing a paid course to teach them how to do hair and or makeup, how to properly sanitize things. That's really a big one and honestly that's kind of a a big thing with getting your cosmetology license. You're learning how to use proper sanitation for clients, how to keep things very neat, clean. The only thing that you cannot do if you don't have a cosmetology license, and the only reason you really need a cosmetology license is if you are coloring hair using any type of chemical on somebody, if you're using any sort of razor, blades, anything like that, that requires you to have a license. Other than that, you can start a bridal hair and or makeup business without a license, which is pretty cool. Now that could change years down the road and I think there are people that are trying to make it to where you have to have a cosmetology license, but it is not necessary. Like I said, I do think that you should invest in some kind of education because education goes a long way and if you're going to be a professional and start a business, brides and clients are gonna wanna know that you have some form of qualification to perform these services on them. They're gonna wanna see some sort of proof, whether that's actual proof of your work in pictures and content, if it's reviews from people that you've already done, they're gonna wanna see some kind of proof. So I hope this answers your question. This is a shorter video today. If you have any other questions about the bridal hair industry, I'm happy to answer them for you. Just leave them in the comments below or you can DM me on Instagram at Megan.Lorson and I would love to hear from you over there. 
Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.